oatmeal raisin cookies today will help me. I know, I know, I know what you guys are gonna say, like, ew, ew, gross, but trust me, this recipe is awesome and I ate it before, or I made it before. Why am I out of breath? God. <sighs> And everyone is like super embarrassed to admit their favorite cookie is oatmeal raisin because I guess they associate that with a grandma but you are not a grandma just because you like this cookie because it is my favorite and I'm not a grandma I'm like 17 years old even though I look 12 I'm still not a grandma so We have oatmeal. And three fourths of this gluten free flour. I'm not gluten intolerant, but I wanted to get gluten free cooking thingies because I can. I'll leave the whole recipe um, in the description box because I guess I just want to talk through this and not just explain myself because I do enough of that already. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Some salt. Cinnamon. Oh, no, no, no. I just melted two tablespoons of some butter because if you want that buttery and soft taste for your cookies, you would do butter instead of like oil or like coconut oil. Now you wanna crack an egg. I am the one, the way your son don't need the gun to get me. You all may be asking how my school year is going and so far so good. I like all my classes I'm taking and I don't have that much homework some days. Well, some days I do, but I usually get it done so I don't have to worry about it on the weekends. Lately, I've been just feeling kind of down and I don't know, I think, I don't know, you know, I just, just one of those weeks where you're just down, but baking helps. Don't forget to lick your spoons. Even though we might get salmonella, but it's worth it. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, which is a long time, but if I want them, the dough to get harder or to like form together, then it has to be done, so. have to wait 30 minutes while well, you guys only have to wait one minute and this is hard because when I bake I like to just bake it all and not wait because then I lose motivation but see you guys soon I wanna Okay, I think 
that's enough dancing for now. I think the cookies should be ready. Or the dough. <laughs> yes, most definitely the, the dough is a lot more thick. Like me. Just kidding. But trying to be, you know. So you want to put it all on the pan in as circular nope. as you can, but make sure they are spread apart because last time I did this recipe, it like was flat as a pancake. You want to make sure there's a good amount of space between each cookie just in case. You never know. Okay, you know what? Let's just see how these are going to turn out. And then the rest is gonna go on here. Oh, why am I wearing this hoodie? It's so hot. By the end of all of my cooking stuff, I like wanna quit so bad. Well, it's only been in there for like two minutes and yep, they are almost flat as a pancake again. What the f I don't know what I did wrong. I put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. Maybe this just isn't a good recipe. But it tastes so good that I want it to work so bad. A few moments later. I think they are ready. And I don't know what happened to... Oh, here it is. Ah! A fail! <laughs> this is like a pancake. I swear. I swear I am a good cook. Why do all this? Uh, I needed to put more flour in the recipe, but why would they publish a recipe if it wasn't correct? But look at, they look pretty good. They're just really airy. Aww. Well, that was a fail. They aren't even sweet enough. Like, I think I'm sweeter than these. <laughs> but they're still good, just not that sweet. So, this was a fail and a waste of time. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, I'm very sad and I have school right now. And yeah, I just, I'm a fail. If you guys like, would like to see more cooking recipes from me, comment down below. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go and cry, but I hope you guys like the video. Bye. <gasps>